Hey, we're just going to go for this. Uh, this is Cameron. I'm going to go by Bluto FPV. This is my first video. Um, I have Attitude V3 goggles that I've put LaForge on. I've only seen like one other person who's done this. Um, there's not any videos on YouTube about it. It's really simple to mod the goggles to do it. Um, I don't have the 3D printed stuff yet that I want to put some doors and covers on. Um, but at least I can show you how to mod the goggles. It's really pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> and uh, in the future, hopefully I'll be getting some better flight videos out there. Um, I am learning. I'm still a noob. I've only been doing this since November. Um, but I love this FPV multi-rotor flying. Can't wait to do some FPV airplanes. And uh, enjoying it with my son. He's bought a quad now. Um, we're flying FT-210s from Flight Test. Um, got some uh, 2205 Emax motors on there. Uh, and we're just still learning. So hopefully this video has a little bit of information for you. And uh, you can uh, learn something from it. All right. So here we have uh, two pair of Attitude V3 goggles. Uh, one pair that has a little forge on it. And another pair that's standard. Um, so I use the ones with a little forge. That's what we're here to do. Um, I'm going to be holding my camera. I'm, I said I'm new at this. I don't have a lot of equipment yet. Hopefully it's not too shaky for you. So when you get LaForge for these, they, they actually pin right in, but they don't fit in the bay correctly. You actually have to trim away a little bit of plastic right here for them to fit in. I know one of the other mods you can do is extend the pins that go on the LaForge and make them reach so you don't have to cut the goggles. There's no... Uh, this this trim here doesn't allow for any light leaks or anything like that. It's just straight trim. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that on this clean set. Uh, all right, to start the mod, you got to take the little door off with the module inside. It just slides right out. And you see the pins on here. My little forge is already mounted with some double-sided tape, so I don't want to take it off. But it has the same pins. It's just taller, so it doesn't fit. In the bay here, you need to take this little bit of plastic out right here. Um, I have noticed that this inside here is the connector is separate, so I've actually debated. I debated before I did mine if I could take the goggles apart and if there was enough wire that maybe I could pull that out and plug it in that manner. Um, I just went ahead and trimmed it, I think it looks pretty good. I'll show you a little more up close um, at the end. Um, but what I did is I just took my regular snap away knife, real cheap, easy to do. Um, I didn't want to use a Dremel or something because I didn't know if I could make it super clean. Maybe if you're a little more proficient with it, you could do it. Um, but all I did, and again, here we are with the, me trying to hold the goggles. I want to get close. Here we go. Covering the camera and everything. <clears throat> I'm actually going to turn these around. That'll help a little more get the light in there. So I actually took the knife and just kind of put it right in that crease of where it turns at 90 degrees inside and I scored it many, many times. Um, almost cut quite a bit through it. And then on the ends here, I trimmed a V all the way down to the flat level and then when it would easily snap, I just snapped it. And then that was all I needed to do. There we go. Got some got some light going. Um, so yeah, just right down in here where that crease is. And then I cut here with real even cuts down inside until I was able to just snap this little upper piece off. And I'll show you what that looks like on goggles. Like I said, this has been a little discolored just because I snapped the plastic off. But it's a lot cleaner than I think if you maybe use a Dremel. Um, if you see, the goggles straight out wouldn't fit normally with the, with the LaForge. It's just too tall. You know, my high my high quality video editing here is, or video taking doing my using my cell phone 
Um, I do plan to get some kind of door on here. I'm betting there's a standard uh, door that'll fit on the Dominators or the HDs will fit over it. Uh, might be a little high here, but it'll it'll still be something better to protect it. Um, I'll probably get one of the holders. Um, they're made for the front here just to protect that wire. Um, and then this is the diversity module. And I just double-sided it on there. I put an extra piece to kind of build it up. Let's see if it'll focus there with the light. Right there. Build it up so it would stay. Um, <clears throat> and then I made sure there was still room in case I wanted to access any of the ports over here. Um, looks pretty good. I'll power it up so you can see that it works. Um, I do have the standard battery that comes with the attitudes. Um, I would recommend going up. I will be doing that shortly. I need a higher capacity battery because the little forge does use more power. There we go. Now we're focused. So, you see it powers up and works fine. You can actually use the channel selector right on the goggles to go where you need to go. Um, otherwise, everything's the same for the goggles. Um, just have the buttons for the little forge system there. Um, you can power it off with the switch on the bottom. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, like I said, I recommend getting a higher capacity battery. I'm lucky I've got extra sets of regular batteries. Um, but I uh, really uh, enjoy the system. I think it's done a lot better. It's really nice to have those favorites on there where you can switch between... You can save other bands like my, my son I said is flying. I can have his band on there and it just flips real easy for me. So I can check out what he's doing. Um, you know, and, and, and this module for the, for the regular uh, attitudes, you know, you got to flip dip switches and things like that. You got to pop this out and pop that out. Flip dip switches to change bands and those kind of things. Just kind of not fun. Um, and so, yeah, I recommend going to La Forge. Even if you have the attitudes, you just got to purchase a battery. If you want to buy the standard um, GoPro, the 1800, it's like 23 bucks, I think, on Get FPV or other places. Um, I'm probably going to do, I want to do something maybe like Steel does, where he has a very large capacity battery. It may be kind of bulky and awkward, but it'll be a lot better than having to worry about your battery dying on you. Um, so I hope you learned a little something here. If you have questions, let me know. Um, like I said, really easy. You just gotta gotta trim out that little bit of plastic, um, or maybe somebody get adventurous and see if there's some wire. You can pull that bracket out a little bit. I don't know how you get it to seat real nice, um, but I'm sure people could figure it out. Um, I know there's another guy. I can't remember his name. I've talked to him on uh, one of the Facebook sites, and he's done the mod too. He did the where he extended the pins out, and he just done some 3D print work that you can get off uh, Thingiverse. Um, the main one I'll be looking at is getting a little box that covers this um, diversity module, because obviously it doesn't go inside the, the, head, the headset. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Um, can't wait for it to warm up a little bit so I don't have to worry about crashing in snow. Maybe I'll be doing some conformal coating here soon, and I can do a video on that. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm still a noob. We're going to learn. Hopefully I can share the things I learn, and people will learn something. Thanks. Bye.